the Electric Power Research Institute conducts research and development relating to the generation, delivery, and use of electricity for the benefit of the public. The EPRI Smart Grid Demonstration Initiative was a seven-year international collaborative research program which studied many different aspects of modernizing the world's energy grid. 24 utilities from Australia, Canada, France, Ireland, Japan, and the United States participated in the initiative. This international collaboration allowed EPRI to tap into and aggregate world-class expertise and experience and share information and results with the program's participants. We are pleased to share a sampling of key findings from research conducted by participating members. Networking between all smart grid devices and systems is a key supporting component of the grid system. The smart grid demonstration helped to pioneer the concept of a virtual top node, VTN, and the virtual end node, VEN, where standardized protocols link key components of the grid architecture together and allow them to communicate. This networking concept, implemented in protocols such as OpenADR, enables standardization in a scalable architecture that includes the CEA 2045 specification. This innovation, also inspired by EPRI, provides a standardized socket, enabling communication from a virtual top node to the VEN. The communications architecture that will enable this system of connected devices is called a Field Area Network, or FAN. The FAN is a unified high-performance network supporting multiple utility applications such as distribution automation, photovoltaics, distributed energy resources, electric vehicles, and demand response. The network is scalable to support growth as well as the integration and convergence of existing services such as AMI and SCADA. The FAN can also enable applications such as video surveillance that may otherwise be cost prohibitive and can enhance the security of valuable assets. Several demonstrations were focused on testing distributed resources. At Public Service of New Mexico, two resources, or end nodes, were combined to operate together and improve performance. A large-scale photovoltaic installation was combined with a set of batteries to smooth the PV system's energy output. This installation can now reliably deliver a designated amount of power over a given amount of time, thanks to the firming effect provided by the batteries. When there is excess solar power available, the batteries begin charging. The batteries store this power that can be used later if the PV output drops below acceptable levels, making DER energy delivery more consistent and reliable. Buildings with independent power generation can also function as an end node of the grid. Smart Grid program partner Consolidated Edison conducted a pilot test where a building was centrally dispatched by the utility, causing the building's generator to come online and take the building off the grid in well under the program's 10-minute target. The conservation voltage reduction and volt bar optimization concept involves near real-time control of distribution circuits to minimize losses and manage voltage within an acceptable range. Demand is reduced by actively managing voltage in a lower, but still acceptable band. For the summer 2011 pilot deployment, the CVR and VVO control logic was implemented at Myrtle Date and Madison Kenneth substations. As shown in the chart, the average results over the eight-week test period varied from 1% to 2.5%. The average peak demand was reduced 1.7% for a 2% voltage reduction. The loss reduction improvements from VBO were small but valuable. Analytical simulations were performed using modeling, and simulation analysis determined that there is a potential for a loss reduction for the peak hours at most substations. A number of EPRI smart grid demonstration projects focused on technologies that exist on the customer side of the meter. ESB Networks conducted a customer behavior trial to gauge the potential for smart meter-enabled treatments including time of use prices and energy information services to change customer energy consumption and peak demand usage. The time of use rates, energy information services, and financial incentives were found to reduce overall electricity usage by 2.5% and peak usage by 8.8% for the one-year period of the trial. Another area of critical importance for the smart grid that has been studied in the program is cybersecurity. 
Smart Grid Technologies are introducing millions of new intelligent components to the electric grid that communicate in much more advanced ways than in the past. Cybersecurity is exceptionally important because the bi-directional communication and the control capabilities in the Smart Grid enable an array of new functionalities and applications. EPRI is providing guidance to utilities on developing an overall cybersecurity strategy, developing a risk assessment and management process, and selecting and tailoring cybersecurity requirements for the electric sector. The EPRI Smart Grid Initiative leverages the ongoing multi-million dollar investment in smart grid research and technology by the electric utility industry. This program has resulted in an abundance of shared learning and information only a small sampling of which has been represented here. EPRI would like to thank the many individuals and organizations that have conducted and participated in studies and documentation of the results, some of which are highlighted here. EPRI, together shaping the future of electricity.